Hey party people, my name is Daryl Wilson and today I'll be showing you guys how to host your WordPress website using the Amazon AWS servers. Now, the Amazon AWS servers are probably unparalleled. They are the largest and fastest hosting company in the world. They host ESPN, they host Netflix, they host Coinbase, they host uh, Expedia. So they host a lot of the large corporate entities that deal with millions of visitors. And these guys have some of the fastest servers in the world. Now, the problem with hosting with Amazon AWS is it's very, very complicated and it's really technical. And even myself, I hosted one website with it and I had no idea what these terms were. So for beginners like us, it can be very confusing. So today I'll be showing you how to host your WordPress website using Amazon AWS with no experience required. You know, it's actually really funny. I recorded this whole video and the microphone was off and I had to re-record it. YouTube problems, man. Now, there is a link in the description of this video. It'll take you to a website called Nessify.io. So this is Nessify.io. And I gotta be honest, I've done a lot of research on this company and they offer some really competitive prices compared to their competitors uh, when hosting your website with Amazon AWS. So once you're here, click on pricing and free trial. Now I do wanna go ahead and mention some things about this company before we jump into the pricing. This company offers a seven day free trial. They also offer a 60 day money back guarantee. They will also fix your websites if you get hacked or receive malware. And a lot of companies do not offer that. So they are pretty competitive and they really want your business. So once you're here, you'll scroll down and take a look at their plans. Now, Nestify offers some of the most competitive pricing I've ever seen. So uh, I really like this $35 a month plan. Now, this will give you the eight CPUs and up to 32 megabytes of RAM and give you the 40 gig of SSD storage. Now, another website I've seen that does this is Cloudways. However, Cloudways is way more expensive and they don't offer anything near to what Nestify does. So here's the actual pricing plan for Cloudways, the Amazon AWS. And you guys can see even for their $274 plan, they're only giving you uh, four CPUs with 16 gigs of RAM with 20 gigs of storage space. So I'm not really sure what that's all about, but with Nestify, you'll get 32 gigs of RAM, eight CPUs, and you get 40 gigs of uh, SSD storage. Now I believe you will have to pay extra for your traffic. So this is like more of a monthly fee and depending on how much traffic you bring, so if you bring millions of visitors, you will probably have to pay a fee on top of that. But this is their base plans, which are pretty solid and uh, pretty competitive. So once you're here, go ahead and just click on a plan. So I'll just use this one right here and click on free trial. And once you're here, you can actually sign up for an account. So I'll go ahead and sign up with you guys. And then we'll actually, um, we'll, I'll show you guys the inside and get you guys comfortable with everything. And then I'll show you how to point your name servers from your other current host of whoever you are using. So right here, I'll go ahead and sign up. All right, so it'll take you to this page and here you can go ahead and select your server. Now they do have a few options here. You guys can actually use DigitalOcean as well in London, Amsterdam, or US East. They have the Amazon AWS in US East and also US West and also in India for those uh, viewers who are watching this from India. But I'll just go ahead and select US West. Now out of all the plans here, I highly recommend getting at least the WP VPS2 because this plan right here uh, the specs are really poor compared to this one and you get a massive upgrade for just ten dollars a month so eight cpus 32 gigs of ram from just one cpu and two gigs of ram so that's kind of a no-brainer so uh personally i'd recommend this one or this one just depending on how big your website is but i uh, just go ahead and select a package and then we'll scroll down and give your server a name so i'll just put daryl's websites and click on start free trial all right, so now they wanna launch our website. So right here it's saying, what would you like to use? I'll click on WordPress. And then here I'll put Daryl Wilson's, Daryl Wilson's website or client's website or whatever you wanna do, no big deal. And then I'll click on launch. All right, and now once you guys have done that, you guys will get access to your new overview. So here you can go ahead and see all the access information for your website. So we have the WordPress admin username, the WordPress admin password, and all of these other credentials that people might need for our hosting or our database. And then on the top right, we have the primary domain. Now we're using a, a testing environment right now. 
And if you want to log into your website, you can click on this WP admin and then you can go ahead and enter in your admin username and password and then you can kind of build your websites while you're waiting. Now, let's just say, for example, you want to migrate your websites. There's a few ways on how to do this. You guys can use a plugin. In fact, I made a video on this. You guys can simply just download WP all migration. You can export your websites and then you can go to your website, uh, install the plugin and then import it and you're done. It's really, really fast and uh, it literally takes like two or three minutes. Now, if you guys want them to do it, if you guys have a larger website, you can click on site migration and then this guy right here will pop up and then he'll say, all right, you know, I'll help you guys migrate your website. Just give them the login credentials for your other website and they'll go ahead and uh, migrate everything for you. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. So that's the migration process of it. Uh, there's two ways on how you can do it. Now, let's just say, for example, you want to point the name servers from your current host to Nestify. So over here on the left side, you guys will see domains. So right here, go ahead and put in your domain, put in your domain name. And then for the SSL type, you guys can use, I like using Let's Encrypt SSL, but you guys can use either one, Cloudflare. Uh, I believe Cloudflare is free with Nestify, but uh, go ahead and put in your domain name and then put in the SSL and then click on point domain to sites. Now, once you guys do that, it'll actually list your domain right here. And this, you can make your primary domain later once you get the whole migration system done and everything. Now, once you do that, on the left side, you're going to see manage DNS, manage, genius, manage DNS. So this is the domain. And these are the actual name servers that it propagated for us. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and right click and click on copy. And let's just say, for example, we're using a hosting company. I like using Name Hero. So if you have specific websites that you want to point to uh, Nestify and have Amazon host it, what you'll do is you'll go ahead and modify your name servers. Now, for example, let's just, uh, I'll just click on one. So I don't know which hosting company you're using. You could be using SiteGround, you could be using uh, HostGator, you can be using Name Hero or any other company. But uh, for every hosting company, they will let you have access to the name servers. So don't worry about it too much. But uh, right here, I'll go ahead and click on manage name servers. There it goes. And here we have use custom name servers. Now, all you need to do here is you just need to go ahead and copy this. This is our name server one, right? Name server one. And this is our name server two. And we are all finished and I'll paste that and then click on change name servers. Make sure there's no space. Let's see if that works there. Let's make sure there's no space in the um, when you're updating name servers because it might count that space as a character and everything can go wrong, a disaster. So yeah, just make sure there's no space. And that's it, you guys are all done. So at this point, it's just a waiting game. You'll just have to go ahead and just wait for them to migrate your website. And now that we've pointed the name servers, everything is all good to go. Now let's go ahead and talk about some other things about this company. So here I'll go to new server. If you guys wanna change your server or upgrade or just add a whole new plan, you guys can go ahead and do that with the new server. You can also add a new site as well. So you can have access to all of this stuff. And then right here, let's click on manage servers and I'll click on manage server. Now, if you guys want to upgrade the server, you guys can go ahead and just click on upgrade server and then you can go ahead and upgrade. Maybe you guys are using more space. Maybe you just want better performance and you wanna upgrade. You can go ahead and have access to that right here. But just remember this guy on the bottom right, these guys are here to help at all times and their support's pretty good. And that's why I like smaller uh, hosting companies because once they go global and once they get corporate, like it, it, the whole process is a pain in the butt. It's a whole nightmare. But uh, I do like working with smaller hosting companies because they can offer better service and better support. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys have any questions for me about this, feel free to let me let me know in the comments below. Uh, Nestify, I've looked at their reviews. They look like a very reputable company and they offer really competitive prices and they do offer a lot of extras like the hack fix for your websites. They offer really good plans and uh, let's see what else they offer. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, that's it. All right. <laughs> so that's it. But again, guys, I hope this helped. I know a lot of people want to host a website with Amazon. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.